available to all remotes. A large coupler kit is available for applications that demand unrestricted oil flow. Custom headline management. Automated features are only useful when operators feel comfortable using them and when they deliver operating flexibility. The refined New Holland custom headline management system provides simple programming and recall with the potential for advanced modification to make it easier to improve in field efficiency. The system allows the, op the operator to record and store the sequence of operations at the headland and play the sequence back automatically when, with the push of a button to modify the pre-programmed sequences. Operators use the Intelview monitor to fine-tune tractor action so they are right for every individual field and crop. It's also a great way to reduce magnitude over extended work periods. Up to eight electronic remotes. All T9 models offer the convenience of electronic remote valves, up to eight of them. They're simple to set up and easy to operate. All hydraulic controls and components are color-coded, so it's easy to keep track of hydraulic functions. Flow timing detent settings can be set to precisely match the job. Each valve can also be programmed into the custom headland management system. The end of view touch screen makes it simple to set the flow rate to individual valves. Just scroll through the menus and select valve control. Choose the outlet you want to adjust and drag the slider with your finger to the desired setting. Job done. Now that's a lot better than case. I'm doing the 9R and the 9RT series tractors, four wheel drive. John Deere Powertech PSS engines. Almost said it <laughs> um, Has turbochargers, uh, variable geometry turbochargers. VGT. Don't stop it. <laughs> um, electronic controls open or close variable veins depending on load and speed. Optimizing airflow generates more boost, allowing quicker loads, load responses, increased low RPM torque, better transient response and improved fluid efficiency. Um, it has air to air after cooling. This technology lowers the intake manifold air temperatures, promoting more efficient cooling and greater engine reliability. That's why this is better than both. <laughs> All right, now we're going on the uh, combines. So, okay. Okay, she paused. No, it's paused. We're starting with case axial fl flow combines that are the worst combines. Other than, um, what is it called? Good burn. <laughs> Find your perfect flow with AFS Harvest Command. Regardless of the time of day, crop conditions, or moisture levels, AFS Harvest Command is always working for you. It's simple, just choose the mode of automation to match your har harvesting goals. From there, AFS Harvest Command takes over. Each automation mode prioritizes different harvest outcomes. 
grain quality to grain savings to throughput and continuously optimizes machine performance based on limits but set by the operator. Automation and to achieve a history of modern combining by New Holland. New Holland introduced the pioneering concept of twin rotor technology and on the TR-70, the face of harvesting was changed forever in 1975. 1979, the second generation of twin rotors appeared in the TR-75, TR-85, and TR-95 formats and their power was up from 155 to 225 horsepower. 1984, a bigger cab, improved visibility, and S3 rotors characterized the third generation of machines. Farmers welcomed the TR-79, TR-89, and the TR-96 models. 1993, almost a decade later, the TR-87 and TR-97 fourth generation combines made their mark with more power on offer. 1997, simplified controls made harnessing even more power on the fifth generation TR-88 and TR-98 combines more efficient and productive. Sixth, or 1999, six generations down the line, the higher grain handling capacity and enhanced visibility were the hallmarks of the TR-89 and 99 models. 2002, a sleek, fresh, looking seventh generation graced the world's fields. The completely new styling, larger rotors, a larger cab, and the first self-leveling cleaning system on a rotary combine all combined to make the CR960 and CR980 models highly desirable. By the way, did we forget to mention they produced up to 428 horsepower? 2004. The beginning of the new millennium saw production of twin rotor combines start in Zeldegland, Belgium, New Holland's century of harvesting ex excellence. 2005, three decades of twin rotor success was celebrated with the introduction of the interview to monitor for precision machine control. <coughs> 2007, the CR Elevation Series was the eighth generation and fe featured a whole host of productivity boosting elements, including up to 530 horsepower tier three engines, OptiClean system, and Intel Cruise system for constant feedback with smooth changes of speed for optimized perfection with an operator comfort. <coughs> 2008, the CR9090 becomes officially the world's highest capacity combine. It smashes the harvesting record officially harvesting 551 tons of wheat in eight hours. 2010, the CR range celebrates its 35th anniversary. Production of the CR9060 for Latin America starts in Brazil. 2011, the ninth generation of twin rotor combines is launched featuring tier four A complete equal blue C SCR engines improved capacity as well as best in class grain and straw quality. 2012, the CR range wins prestigious Machine of the Year award thanks to its unsurpassed harvesting performance and industry leaning grain quality. 2013, the introduction of the dynamic feed roll has further improved in-field performance and grain quality. 2014, the CR 10.90 smashes the record for the most wheat harvested in eight hours. During the record, it harvested 797.656 tons of wheat in eight hours in real world conditions. 
2015. The 10th generation CR range celebrates 40 years of harvesting excellence with the introduction of the mesh benchmark harvest suit ultra cap. 2018. <coughs> introduction of the CR revelation with increased capacity and even more efficient residue management. 2019. New entry level <coughs> CR 7.80 model introduced a new award-winning IntelSense automated system released for all CR models. I've got one question. What? Why did it go 79, 89, 96? Well, because they didn't do anything new in those years. Yeah, but why did it go? I don't get it, because I would have th thought it would go 79, 89, 99. What are you talking about? Because they introduced new things in certain years. Mm -hmm. I know why they say cage to do all the same. Because two rotors doesn't do anything better. Yeah, it does. Well, yeah, it does. It's the same thing. Why does two rotors do better than one, other than make it more expensive? Nah, uh -huh. it takes less power to run two rotors, and you can get a lot more for two rotors than one. Smaller so? We don't do as much. Each of them doesn't do as much, but two smaller rotors combined can all do one bigger rotor. And I also know why, um, you know, New Holland, when when they say they want a case at New Holland um, standoff on harvesting, then some, there's somebody always comes out and says, do the same thing. We don't need to do that. That's what the dealers come out and say. They're not the, Holland, the same thing. In the Holland and, and Case themselves come out and say, we don't need to do that. That's the, the same thing. No, they just all know that New Holland's better, so they don't want to make the case feel bad. And so then they don't do well, it. Well, how do you know it's not the other way around? How do you know um, they, when New Holland won't do it with Case because, because of the, they, they're afraid of Case to them? Why doesn't Case have a, why doesn't Case have the genius and world record for most of the items in eight hours? Yeah, they haven't tried it out yet. Or soybeans. They haven't tried it out yet. Well, and why don't they? Well, part of it, New Holland's going to agree to it too, you know. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. They can't just say Case, New Holland, no. Like, no. Old case just can't go. New Holland, you get over here for doing this. Nah, -uh, you do the wheat record with only your combine. You just go out there and harvest as much wheat as you can, and they measure it in okay. eight hours. Uh huh. You don't have like three different brands of combines doing it at the same time. About the thing you said earlier, Case and New Holland aren't the same because Case is worse. Okay, Mr. John Deere, go. Uh, don't call me Mr. John Deere. Okay. Mr. John Deere, combine. Don't. Okay. Now we're doing the S series combines. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> Which is not ready for. Sorry, you were supposed to get ready. We might have to cut that out. Yeah, we will. <laughs> <clears throat> now we're going to do the S series combines. Chop, drop, size, and spread. Chopped, dropped, a fine cut, the 44, se 44 series combine featured residue handling systems and options that are designed to take care of your residue management needs. The, the S series combines feature a fine cut chopper 
the chopper blades along with the unique air shrouds shroud, on the cutting in the chopper housing give an ultra fine cut while generating a strong blast of air for even more for more even residue distribution distribution yeah. Are you done, honey, Yeah. Well, why 